Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer today on Thursday in the octave of Easter. Morning prayer starts on page 516. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace, your mercy is new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word, shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death, and to the power of the resurrection he opens to us the gate of everlasting life, grants that we who celebrate with joy in this Paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. That Easter tide with joy was bright, the sun shone out with fairer light. When to their longing eyes restored, the glad apostles saw the Lord. He bade them see his hands, his side, where yet the glorious wounds abide. The tokens true which made it plain, the Lord indeed was risen again. Jesus, King of gentleness, do thou thyself our hearts possess that we may give thee all our days the tribute of our grateful praise. All praise be thine, O risen Lord, from death to endless life restored. All praise to God the Father be and Holy Ghost eternally. Amen. Our psalm for this morning is taken from Psalm 47. Come everyone, clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great King of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us, putting out enemies, putting our enemies beneath our feet. He chose the promised land as our inheritance, the proud possession of Jacob's descendants, whom he loves. God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King over all the earth, praise Him with a psalm. God reigns above the nations, sitting on His holy throne. The rulers of the world have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For all the kings of the earth belong to God. He is highly honored everywhere. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading for this morning is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Christ lives within you, so even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you, and just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, He will give life to your, to your mortal bodies by this same Spirit living within you. Our canticle for this morning is taken from the book of Exodus. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has hurled into the sea. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders? You raised your right hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. With your unfailing love, you lead the people you have redeemed. In your might, you guide them to your sacred home. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain. The place, O Lord, reserved for your own dwelling. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. Lord, be gracious to all the members of your body, the Church and bring them into paradise as you have promised. Strengthen those 
who celebrate this season in the face of poverty and unemployment and confirm their hope in your saving grace. Give joy to those weighed down by cruelty and oppression and comfort them in all their distress. Have compassion on those who are poured out in sickness and death and give them a joy that no one can take from them. Help us live in the freedom which binds us to your service and keep us for all sin and sin and danger. Clothe with the brightness of immortality all who have died and let them behold you face to face forever. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us before we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. As the Messiah was raised by the your glory, O Father, so may we be raised in your life and rejoice to be called your children, both now and forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercies of God rest in peace. <laughs>